Okay, so it is that time of the week again and today we are going to review this toy right here. It is the Mesco Toys King Kong of Skull Island. So I got this off of uh, my recent trip in Tokyo. Also got it from Mandarake. Uh, the box is pretty big and it's pretty heavy so without further ado let's go and open it up so yes inside the box we have uh... okay so inside the box covered in great plastic is an angry King Kong also comes with some broken chains this one's metal the cuffs are plastic okay so take note of that we'll be looking at that shortly Kong also comes with a, a growling face so yeah, so the figure, in the figure, the, the mouth doesn't move. Okay. And it also comes with some punching hands, some grabbing hands, some grappling hands, and an Andaro figure, which I presume uh, she can, he, King Kong can carry on one of these hands. Anyway, start the show this guy this angry guy right here okay so let's take a quick look on the figure uh, overall the scope is excellent so the they really did uh, an amazing job of hiding the lines or the joints um, the color application is also is also really good uh, they have um, really uh, took some time to put on all those details including the scratches or the old wounds or the war uh, the battle scars of uh, King Kong uh, in terms of articulation uh, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, the, the, the head uh, moves because of the face piece. So there's no neck joint. Uh, the mouth doesn't move at all. The arms... Uh, oh, by the way, the head is connected to the neck via a ball joint. The arms... There's a swivel and a hinge on this end. Uh, the, there's also a swivel and a hinge on the forearm. And while the wrist is connected to the forearm via a, via a ball joint. Uh, on the legs, it's also connected to the body via a ball joint. Uh, the knees are... Uh, connected by a hinge and the feet is connected by a ball joint so it's uh, in terms of articulation I'd say it's pretty good you could make a lot of good poses with it you just have to be a little bit more creative compared to how flexible some of the SH monster arts are but overall it's really a good piece the there's also a it seems like a uh, swivel on the on the chest uh, I haven't posed with it with this one a lot but uh, it's a bit wobbly already but yeah um, it still doesn't uh, take that much away from the figure it's really sculpted well so you're gonna really have so much fun with it if you like posing with your figure now uh, let's go on and attach the 
uh, accessories that comes with it. So it comes with a uh, an optional angry growling head or a growling face that you can just attach by removing the old face and attaching the old one because it's a ball joint. Um, it also comes with uh, chains. These chains you have to be very careful with it because the the uh, the locks are actually made out of plastic while the chain is uh, made of metal so it's a good accent to the piece but to remove it you, you have to pry it open first at least a bit to create some gap and then just wiggle it out uh, uh, slowly until it pops off uh, you have to be careful because I've seen some people accidentally break that lock because they uh, force uh, it to open and sometimes since it's plastic it deforms before before it forces out and it breaks this piece right here so just be careful with it so once you have it open all you need to do is to line it up with King Kong's wrist and then lock, lock it again same goes with the uh, other chain like so and it looks really nice and the paint application on these accessories are also really good now the another accessory is it comes with an andaro figure so this is andaro right here like she is uh, screaming for her life and uh, she fits in quite nicely you just have to be creative on how to place her so that she doesn't fall off you also have to be a bit careful because she does look a little uh, bit fragile so it looks like the plastic is not that um, you, you can't pose this with force so you might break the piece but yeah once you've got it set up it's a nice piece to have I, I would have preferred to have some sort of weapon for King Kong in this case but of course you could always DIY one for yourself anyway uh, it's still a good piece it's really nice you could you, you just need to be a bit creative with the poses sorry about that so yeah now so speaking of poses now we're gonna do some uh, poses that uh, you could um, do with the figure that posing session as much as I did so as you can see the figure can do a lot of dynamic poses and the sculpt is really nice the price is not that expensive um, the color application the accessories that comes with it for the price I guess you could not go wrong with this figure so there you have it um, I I hope that you like this video so if you do please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so it really helped the channel a lot and <laughs> okay I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual I will see you guys soon
Peace.